Before you mount this on your vehicle, it may be a good idea to do a dry run. What I did before I screw in the license plate to the flipper, I kind of use the I uh, use a clear tape and I kind of taped around there just to make sure that it has clearance when it flips or rotates. And then once I once it's, once it's secured and it can flip successfully, then I go ahead and screw the plates into the flipper. So you can see I already went ahead and I taped that. And let me kind of demonstrate and I'm going to just rotate it for you. Let me hold it on the side so I'll be kind of pretending I'll be it's mounted on the car. And here it goes. I'm going to flip it. Let me see if I can push the button with my other hand. And there you go. And there you go. And I'm flip it back. And there you go, that's a successful flip. And now that is secured and it flips successfully, I can go ahead and drill a hole in there. And what you could do is just get a drill and do a, a, a pilot hole and then drill that on. And I'm gonna go ahead and do that later. Having successfully, temporarily just kind of secured it onto the frame I'm now going to drill a pilot hole into the hole where the license plate is mounted. Just do, drill a really small one, just enough to kind of center it on for the screws to go through. You don't want to drill too deep or else it will go through the side. So let me do that. There we go. Okay. Now I'm ready to screw these in. There we go. Now it is secured. Now you can actually just mount it onto your vehicle. And I am going to use these chairs here to simulate the front and rear of the vehicle. I'll just mount it to the top. I'll be using some cable ties here. And I'll be using the cable ties to kind of just wrap the cable ties through these holes and use that and kind of loop it around the top of the chair. So let me be back and I'll be doing that. So here's the setup. I mounted both flipper frames to these two chairs. Sorry for the mess. I'm kind of just recording in front of the door here at the home. And you got uh, ladders and whatnot. I have a 12 volt power supply and adapter I plug into the wall. So this is providing the 12 volt DC. And you can see the one wire is going to the box and the other wire from the other frame is going to the box too. So these are the two wires going to the frames. And this provides the power here. And this is the, I believe the signal the signal wire so uh, and it tells you the LED they're both green as you can see right now so this is the power you flip on the switch here this is the power these two green are indicating that they're on side A so as you see it's on side A now I mounted as I said earlier I mounted these frame using these cable ties so let's look at the remote and we push and see what the effects of it are. And here we go, here's the remote. So pushing side A flips both of them at the same time. So if you, if you have them both mounted to your vehicle, you push A, for me it's A because the reason why, because I have these wired uh, accordingly to this one. If you swap the wires around and you had maybe the other, other frame going to vice versa then it may be B 
or C, who knows? But either way, one of the buttons that you push, depending on how you wired it, it doesn't matter how you wire, but the button could be different. In this case, I so happen to say, when I wired it up, this is a test only, I'm not having it on the vehicle, so I don't really care. I push A and it flips both at the same time. I'm about to push it and pay attention to the green light. It should turn red, indicating it's on side B. So here we go, pushing A. And there we go. And you notice the box is now the both, uh, the first two lights are red, indicating it's side B. Now if I push A again, it's gonna flip both at the same time. See, and now the box shows green. It's on back to side A. So once more, pushing A on the, pushing A on the remote. Sorry guys, that's the baby. Pushing A again on the remote. So it's both at the same time. Cool, and the box is red again. Now let's push a different button. What happens if I push B? Oh, it's stuck because this side here, the license plate came out. So let me fix that. I didn't secure it good enough. So you gotta make sure, yeah, when you mount it, it is nicely secured. So this way the frame is kind of sticking out a little bit from this side. I didn't do a good job, so it's stuck. So I went ahead and fixed the frame. It may be a good idea if you put this on your car to make sure that the plate is flat. Upon looking at it, what I found out is I screwed only onto the top part of the frame and I didn't screw the bottom. I just kind of used scotch tape or the clear tape and that's why it was kind of popping out and got stuck and caught on when it was rotating. So it's really important that you make it flat as possible because it's barely clearing the outside perimeter of the frame to make it look like the real license plate most license plate frames is going to be very narrow or else it'll be too bulky so i'm going to flip push what happens if i push just the b again it rotates one side now pay attention look at to the box the first two light the one is red and the second one is green because now the sides are different so you got to make sure you pay attention to what uh, your button you're pushing. Now if I wanted to only flip the left side, let's flip C only. I push C and now it matches. So now it matches. And they're both green because it's on side A. If I push C again, it'll be only the left side. Every time it's on side B, you notice that the box is red. So every time it's on side B, it's red. Then that's how you could tell. So you can mount that box inside your vehicle and you could tell what either the front or the rear, whether it's on side A or side B. Now, you notice that their side A and side B, they're both different. So you push A, it's gonna flip at the both the same time. So that may be awkward uh, because you wanna make sure your car has the same consistency, whether you're showing the same, same uh, side of the license plate. So you push A, it's gonna do it at the same time, but they're, they're on different sides. So you have to make sure, if you're in the vehicle, it may be best to look at the box to make sure that the color are consistent and they're same. This way you know what side you're on. So the left of side A is green, the right side's B is red. So I can just push the B to turn the right side to side A to match and they both should turn green on the box. And there you go now, now it's green. And that is how you operate the license plate flipper. Hopefully this clears up any questions you guys may have. Um, hopefully the install procedure isn't too bad. It should be relatively straightforward as I kind of showed you in the previous videos already on how to kind of screw in the license plate and mount it onto your vehicle.
let me know on the website whether you have any further questions i will try to provide more video if if there's any other lingering concerns from the majority of people but if you have some little mechanical skills uh, this should be pretty straightforward okay thanks guys bye